Hey, today I have the absolute pleasure of showing you a cutting edge threat intelligence tool. It's called Prelude. It's beautiful, it's smart, and it works. Let's jump in. So this is the UI of Prelude on the dashboard. This is their detect tool. Can we just take a minute to thank the designers for making such a beautiful UI? What a pleasure to use something that's lilac-y purple for a change with nice spacing. It's great. We do have a dark mode, obviously, for the night owls in the sock, but we're going to keep it in light mode. This dashboard gives you an overview of your Prelude deployment and what that could mean for your organization. Prelude works off of probes, and if we want to add a probe to an endpoint, we click Add a Probe and we choose our operating system, or we deploy using CrowdStrike. That's right, this bad boy is connected into our CrowdStrike EDR and we can use it to push out to the network. So let's click deploy using CrowdStrike and we're gonna choose Windows and one, two, three, deploy. And that's it. That's how you push Prelude into an environment that already has something else installed on it. Super useful. But here is where it gets powerful. I'm a Threat Intel guy by day, and this, when I saw this, this was game changing. We're gonna click on Threat Intel. Let's just jump off of this for a second. Here is a CISA report, America's cyber defense agency, and this is about North Korea threat actors. There's an advisory attached to it, and like all good advisories from CISA, it is 1,500,024 pages long. This is the PDF version of that. Oh my goodness, it's so big. I'm a Threat Intel guy. I ain't got time to read this sometimes. It's too much. Maybe I could put it into ChatGPT and ask it to summarize. But what if we want to take action and like test our environment to see if we're you know, potentially impacted by the things mentioned in this document? That's right, that's what Prelude does. Let's go back here. I'm going to grab this PDF. I'm going to drop it on. I'm going to hit continue. And here we go. We're going to give our little threat a name. We're going to call it CISA Huge North Korea Report. And we get three things here. You can see they're mapped against the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So you get these T numbers. And if you click that for more context, it brings you to the MITRE ATT&CK website. That's very nice. And we get these three icons, source code, detections, and the threat hunt queries. Let's jump in here. This is the query for our threat hunt. And if we wanted to, we could click hunt in CrowdStrike and then go and hunt for this in CrowdStrike itself. We can also edit what is in here too. We'll just revert the changes. This detection is going to remediate in your EDR and instruct your EDR to alert on or prevent this kind of behavior in the future. And then this is the source code for the ongoing tests that are going to happen to detect this behavior. You can see here on line 17, the purpose of this code is to perform file and directory discovery on a Windows system using the DIR command. So let's import those. So here we go, we've got our CISA huge North Korea report. And the first button we see is the schedule button. So we can set up these security tests to run whenever we want them to. So if you wanna check every month for a certain thing, you can. Or if you wanna do it every Monday, you can. Or if you wanna set it to smart, you can. Very flexible. And then we have our three security tests below. And if we just click on data encrypted for impact, i.e. ransomware, here we can see the source code for the test itself. So the purpose is to encrypt files on a system to simulate ransomware behavior as per the MITRE ATT&CK T1486. Here's our detection and here is our threat hunt. And you can again click this button and jump across to CrowdStrike to do an actual hunt. Let's jump into file and directory discovery. So type in DIR to list the files in a folder, pretty common thing. Here you see it says CrowdStrike and on the right, we've got this send IOA button, indicators of attack. If we click that, that is now submitted into our EDR and you can even see the timestamp here. Beautiful. Let's not underestimate this, being able to take a PDF like that from CISA and within a minute, have deployed IOAs to your EDR, detections, threat hunts. That is game-changing. I have seen 
those things take days and days and days within organizations. So this tool is unbelievable. And we can jump in here and we can look at the schedule and see when everything is running and how many hosts it's running across. If we click into these, we can see all the individual tests. We can read a summary of what it is. It links you back to the original report. And here in the activity window, we can look by endpoint defense type. So if you wanna see defender endpoints, here they are. CrowdStrike, there they are. And you can click into these and learn more about the threats, the tests, and the events that are going on on this machine. And if you're a Threat Intel practitioner like myself, you'll know what it's like when something like Solar Winds happens or the Kaseya ransomware attack or something big like that, and management are breathing down your neck to say, are we impacted by this? Because someone in the board read about it on the train on the way into the office. A tool like this, lets you get the answer super quick. Thanks Prelude for making a threat management platform that makes it so easy for practitioners to get things done. And thank you for making it so beautiful and simple to use. This is the future. I'll see you in the next one.